Um, and this is what is known as urban sketching. It is basically sketching from life, but obviously I'm not, this is, this is not life. You know, urban sketching is still the practice of drawing the world around you. And this is always the hardest part is starting the sketch. Um, the best way to start is just put down a line. So let's put down, I'm going to put down this line right here. And the first thing I think you should do is establish both the scale and the perspective. So, so the lines of this drawing, oh sorry, of this uh, photo are kind of converging to one point. So you can see there's like a line here, there's a line, you know, they're all kind of converging to a vanishing point that's kind of in the distance to the right. So I'm gonna take note of that in my, uh, in my sketch. You can basically just add a bunch of different lines and it's okay because it contributes to the overall drawing. I think the most important thing that I've learned is to just keep going and finish the damn drawing. <laughs> um, Angry Miko also says that. He, he always, always advocates for finishing your drawings. Okay, another thing about urban sketching is that it doesn't have to look exactly the same as what you've drawn. You may not have the skill level to draw um, as well as you want, yet but two also you're kind of injecting your own personality into into the things when you draw so um there's a lot of details happening in the background that are kind of hidden by the shadow and i think i'm going to ignore that because um i don't want the attention to be taken away from the well this piece uh, so contrast that's the point i'm trying to make <laughs> so i'm using a uni ball pen 0.05 um, this is quite common and popular with uh, university students. There's this urban sketcher on Instagram called Luke Adam Hawker from the UK and he draws with really really fine tips and I think he's what who inspired me to start drawing with these because um, you get in a lot of detail and you the good thing about it is you can get in a lot of lines um, which means you can it looks like you get a lot of detail but it doesn't overcrowd the drawing because the lines are so thin. Technically you should look more at the subject that you're drawing because you should there's a rule in drawing that says look l draw once look twice so you should always um you know in order to make an accurate picture you should just draw you should look more than you draw so what i'm going to do now i have this brush pen let's see if i can show you uh again also uniball brush pen i also really like this pen um, because it's kind of basically like a felt tip. <gasps> okay, what I'm going to do now is because this is quite a thick line, so let's, let me show you, as you can see, quite thick. So you can see the contrast is quite great between the thinner lines and the thick line of this uh, brush pen, and that's exactly what I wanted. So I've got this Winsor & Muta brush marker. These are really good, quite expensive, but for an architecture student, they are amazing. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to really play up the contrast of black and white and I'm going to use the brush, so there's two sides to this pen, uh, there's a there's a nib, like a brush pen side of it and then there is a chisel, chisel marker side to it. So this is good for like, this nib is good for large areas so technically it's good for this drawing but see what's happening as I'm colouring in with a black felt tip, it's really giving a good sense of contrast. I'm basically just going to colour around the edges. Why am I doing this? I don't know. It's what I feel like. And I think when you're when you're doing art, you the more you do art, the more you learn to rely on your intuition to make art, and that's how you get better. I think combination of improving your skills and improving your response to your intuition. See, this is the beauty of art. Like I never expected that I would <laughs> have a pink outline on my drawing, but I, I love it. I think it's great.